Okay, guys. World's first dark skin activist here. And I want to come to you guys and talk to you. This is a sad one. This is definitely a sad one. Um, I just found out about Jazz Waters. I didn't know who she was before I found out about her apparent suicide. That's what the media is reporting. As you can see, clearly a dark skinned woman. Um, to me, she is darker skinned woman, black woman that uh, committed suicide. May she forever rest in peace. And um, you know, this is this saddens me because I know what's behind some of this. I have my beliefs and my theories as to what's behind this. The pressures, let me, let me just talk about, first of all, who Jazz Waters um, is, who she was, she, you know, she committed suicide. She's a writer for a show called Just Us. And I never, I've never seen the show before. Never in my life have I seen the show. But I want to come on here and make this video because I want to pay homage and respect to a dark-skinned woman, a black woman that has lost her life due to what I believe. And I don't know why she committed suicide, but the pressures of, uh, in part, darkism. So let's talk about Jazz Waters and who the Jazz Waters is and was. Uh, says this, this is us writer, Jazz Waters found dead in apparent suicide at Hollywood home. Let me go down. Jazz Waters, a 39 year old TV writer and journalist, most recently known for her work on TV. This is us was found dead in her Hollywood home. Authorities said Friday. Waters died of hanging. Tuesday and her death was ruled a suicide according to the Los Angeles Times. In addition to This Is Us, Waters also worked on Jim Carrey's Kidding and VH1's The Breaks and spent nine years working in film production and TV development on several projects including the Spider-Man and Barbershop franchises, Hardball, Save the Last Dance, ER, and MTV's Real World according to the I according to her IMBD page. And this is beautiful dark skin woman. Um, let's keep reading. Let me, let's show you guys how she looks. Scroll down. Waters, who went by the nickname Jazz Fly, was born on October 21st, 1980 in Evanston, Illinois, and studied at Evanston, Township High School in Columbia College, Chicago. In addition to her work on Hollywood projects, Waters also managed the entertainment blog flystyle.com, I'm sorry, flystylelife.com for three years and later served as a popular culture columnist for Vibe Magazine. Let's see if we got anything else that looks like the end of the article. But there is information. This is off of a uh, CBS Los Angeles, KCAL 9. Uh, this is where I found the article. So This Is Us is the show that she was a writer for. So you guys can see it. And again, I've never watched this show, but I mean, she was a, a, a black writer on the show. So of course that's of importance because a lot of us don't get a, a chance to shine like that in the mainstream so I can respect her work. But it's real sad that Jazz Waters died and, you know, especially by suicide. It's a real sad thing. And no one knows why, unless she, I don't know, left a note. All we can do is speculate. I don't know why she decided to take her own life. I, I don't know why, guys. But I'm going to tell you this. I believe that a part of it, this is my own theory, has to do with the pressures of just being a black, dark-skinned woman 
trying to make it in the world. This is my own personal take on it. And uh, this is so sad because this is a beautiful black woman. And like you look at her and you, I mean, I, I, you can't see it. You never know what, what somebody's feeling or what somebody's experiencing. You, you can't just look at somebody and, and, and tell. As the old saying go, you can't judge a book by its cover. But, you know, a part of the darkism is the onslaught of social media personalities that attack black women, attack dark skinned women on the daily. This is what they do. They made careers. They're getting money off of attacking dark skin and black women. And that's a part of it. That's my own personal belief. Individuals who've led these attacks on dark skin black women, uh, like the one that I told y'all about earlier, who on camera threatened to beat up and punch a dark skinned woman, who told her, I don't like you black women. This is what this person said. He, this, this person is pure trash. People like that, are indirectly responsible for what has happened to Jazz Waters. This is my own personal opinion. This is my own interpretation. People like that, whose vile behavior, vicious behavior towards black women, towards dark skinned women, you're indirectly responsible for this suicide. These are my opinions. It's my belief. Now, if you don't like it, you don't agree. You don't agree. That's fine. This is how I feel about the situation. There's been an onslaught of attacks for years on YouTube, on social media of black women. Constantly. And every black woman don't fit into the stereotypes, but they forced. And there's a leading figure that we know who's been at the helm of it. You are indirectly responsible. Yes, you are. The same individual that was hit on accident in a car by a black woman, regular accident like anybody could have, jumped out the car and verbally and viciously threatened physical harm. Well, your message of hate towards black women and dark skinned women has spread so much so in, in the rest of society that I believe in this person, um, uh, Jazz Waters, I've seen some of her stuff on social media. I'm pretty sure that, you know, she had a, 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 the, um, the blog. Pretty sure she's aware, she's aware of what was being said about black women on social media. Anybody on social media, you're, not a, you, you, you're just not immune to it, okay? People like this individual who showed that I went on last night. You got Jazz Waters blood on your hands. And shame on every last one of you. You are vile. You are wicked. You are evil. You are the leader. You are the leader of the spread of hate of black women. And look at what you've done. Look at what you've done.